first up, Jamar Chase. Why are you concerned about Jamar Chase? And well, not even concerned, but why would you, are you walking away from mock drafts right now without Jamar Chase on your team? Uh, can, where where is he going right now? Uh, on ESPN, it says his average draft position is eighty. Um, he he hasn't played football in a year and a half. He he, he opted out of college last year with LSU. I know he has history with Joe Burrow, but they have two legitimate wide receivers in T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd. Jamar Chase I, is currently going as pick 61 in redraft. So that's the beginning of the sixth round? Yeah, one of the first picks in the sixth round. And, and he's going before T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd, right? Yeah. That's wrong. Like, that's just trying to hit a rookie to try to hit a rookie. Yeah. With, with that, T. Higgins was excellent last year. Tyler Boyd wasn't bad either. Tyler Boyd is a reception machine and can catch the ball. Jamar Chase is the third wide receiver in that offense. You know why he's going this high? No, I don't. Because of what Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow did together at LSU. Yeah, but I don't care. That's not the NFL. And he hasn't played for a year and a half. Jason, when was the last time you did something or you didn't do something for a year and a half and you're like, all right, I'm going to be, I'm going to do it again and try to be good at it. (laughs) I, I don't know. Nothing. Yeah. Nobody does that. Jamar Pick or Jamar Chase finishes preseason with four drops on five targets. <laughs> That's 80%. <laughs> That's four, unbelievable. Four drops on five targets. I'm just saying I could do that. I literally could do that. You literally, yeah, you literally could do that. I could do that. My you might one even catch, catch one of them. Well, my, the catch I would have would be a screen pass, but damn it, it would count as a catch. Well, he, dro- he had a screen pass and dropped it no, but in the last preseason game. They, they just look back at the Belinikoff season, season man. He was the best receiver in college football in 2019 with Burrow. 84 catches, almost 1,800 yards, 20 touchdowns. Yeah. Hey, I mean, uh, and this is off of ESPN's website, so I obviously don't know this off the top of my head, but uh, the Bengals had a third wide receiver on the field, 82% of their offensive plays uh, last year, which is the second most in the NFL. So playing time won't be an option. I just, or sorry, a, a, a challenge or an obstacle. No, I think it I will just, be. I, if he's dropping the ball that I much, literally think they're, they're not going to play him. He loses snaps to Auden Tate. Oh, okay. I really do. I really think he's going to lose snaps at the beginning of the season to Auden Tate. Like, <sighs> I think rough. you're looking at somebody that's going to be in on like, I don't know, 20% of snaps to start the year. Yeah. If Here's ESPN's projection. 116 targets, 72 catches, uh, 930 yards, and six touchdowns. I'll, I did, take, I'll, 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 take, I'll take the under. I'll take the under. Yeah. He is projected for 169 points, just for the record. Nice. But definitely taking the under. 